Good morning, Burton Elementary. Today is Monday, December 7th, 2020. Can you believe it? Already December 7th. We've been at home for so long, yet this year is flying by. And look who I've got with me, Leo. And he has his cookie monster, I love books outfit on this morning, because he loves his books just as much as his mom does. So now everyone, we're going to jump straight into our words for this week. I absolutely love hearing about the awesome sentences that you guys are coming up with. Thank you to Mrs. St. Germain's class for sending me my emails. It's awesome. And I can't wait to hear more about how you're using these words. Our first word of the week is dialogue, which is a conversation between two or more people especially seen between characters in a book. For example, which book has your favorite dialogue? Mine is Lord of the Rings. Our next word of the week is graph, which is a diagram showing the relationship between different quantities. For example, can you show me a graph of who in your class prefers cookies and who in your class prefers brownies? And now I know last week I mentioned that I was going to show you where I work in my house. Now we have a room for Mr. Leo here and another room, but unfortunately I am not lucky enough to have an office where I can work. And so I actually do work at my living room table. So you're going to see how Mrs. Woodside still creates her space for learning, even though she's at her kitchen table. Let's take a look. So this is where Mrs. Woodside does her work. You can see I've got my light for videos. I have my computer. I have my headphones and my iPad. And this is my kitchen table. On the other side of my kitchen table, Mrs. Woodside is getting ready for Christmas. So you can see it looks a little messy on the other side, but I've made sure that where I do my work, everything is clean and organized and ready to go. So that's how I do it, everyone. I know there can be a lot of distractions at home. I've got a pretty big distraction right here, but it's really important for you to find a space where you can focus and get your work done. So even though it's right at my kitchen table, I've made sure to clear it off of only my work things on the half of the table where I do my work, and that way I can focus and get my job done and do it well. So. What strategies do you have to make sure you can stay focused on your schoolwork? And now everyone, I know I usually show a clip of Darla, but she is actually still asleep this morning. Whew, lucky girl. Uh, we went on a very long walk yesterday, and so she is pooped out and still tired. So I promise next week to show you a clip of a couple of the tricks that we've learned over the year. And now, one last reminder, tonight we have Lullabies with Leo at 6.30 p.m. I will post the link on Dojo and on Seesaw, but please make sure to join us as I read a very fun story to this cutie. And we would love to have you join along. So tonight at 6.30 is Lullabies with Leo. We hope to see you there. That is all for our Monday morning video this week. Have a spectacular week, everybody.